Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm going to show you guys how to install or how I'm installing my Renergy 400 watt system, um, solar system kit that I got off of eBay. Um, my last video I did an unboxing of it. Um, <clears throat> well, what I noticed is with the barn roof that we have right here, the angle on this roof, and this is another reason why we chose the barn roof style instead of a versus a regular one peaked or one uh, angle roof um, because the winter time our house is facing the south and the sun is right behind me over here I'm not gonna fry my camera or nothing on that and in the summertime it's here but we live on a 40 um, on a 43rd longitude angle so at the winter solstice we want to be at a 43 degrees this isn't at a 43 degrees as you guys can see it's maybe I don't know probably 55 but it, it's pretty it's a pretty good angle um, for the winter time but since our solar panels are gonna be mounted this way on it I have to the brackets that come with the package do not go they will not fit let me show you guys what I'm talking about here so I have to make a couple adjustments if I put them this way It'll be perfect, but then again, you're gonna have the slip, and I'll show you how I'm gonna cure a lot of this too. Um, and I'll be mounting them still this way, but be on the side mount. I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get over there. But if you look, these holes, if they're mounted the way that they want us to mount them, it won't fit anywhere because there's these ridges, so there's gonna be a gap. And if you look up on the holes, they don't exactly line up perfectly with the um, ridges they leave a little hole a gap so I'm worried about the water and stuff like that and I could use silicone but I'm just not going to do it that way so what I'm going to do go back over here I'm going to instead of mounting them here I'm going to come over here I'm going to do it this way now I'm going to put a hole right here and the hole that they give you to mount them on, this is a 3 8 inch hole, but this one right here is a half inch on that. So if you set them up there like so, right, this thing, this half inch drill bit, will fit. Well, it's hard to do with one hand. Stupid cameras. <laughs> For any of you guys with that. But see, that hole will fit in there just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these off. Probably the same spot where they have them on that. I'll do two of them down here. Um, they do come with a red little nipple on it. The male is uh, um, hot and the female is uh, um, negative. But what I was talking about with those ridges up here to give me some more leeway on them. So when I mount them this way, the two short ones, right, I'm going to have them come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this board right here. This is an old cutting board. Um, wife works at a restaurant. So um, this is a three-quarter inch thick piece of cutting board, nice plexiglass or plexi. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to make all these brackets. I get two for sure off of the one side. So I'm going to make these brackets. And I'm going to cut them out and make the holes and all that jazz. And that's how I'm going to mount them up. So <clears throat> this is a part one, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of the parts. They'll be coming. I'm going to show you step by step how I'm doing this. So thanks again for watching. Hello to my new subscribers. Hello to my old ones. Have a good day, guys. Bye.